Hey, this is Bill from Dad with Dad Dad Adventures. Susan and I are down in Baja. This is uh, coming up on a couple of weeks of our, our Baja tour. We may have a couple more to go, but I've uh, been down here since uh, um, about the 2nd anyway. And this is the 13th of January 2018. We just left the Mission uh, de la Pasión, I believe, and uh, what's left of it, the ruins, we're kind of on a mission tour. And we're about 150 miles into our gas right now. We're down to about an eighth of a tank because there's been so much low range work. And we've got uh, probably another 150 miles to go before we find fuel. Thankfully, we brought some extra with us. Uh, otherwise, this would be a day of uh, a little bit of tension and we'd be knocking on doors. We've met some amazing people here. Max just showed us around the Mission de la Pasión. Yesterday, we tried to get to uh, the mission of De the Dolores mission, I don't know how to say that exactly, and it turns out that uh, the locals tell us we can only do that by uh, water or an overland trek, that the road is no longer passable at all. So uh, we'll see how that works out. We may end up taking a boat around the next couple of days. Uh, let's take a walk around the truck and we'll talk about it a little bit. We're really set up well for this. Uh, you know, starting at the front, we've got the aluminous bumpers and the uh, Warren Winch, the uh, 9.5 XTI. Fortunately, we haven't had to use that yet. The Cooper Discover Max ST tires, uh, 255, 85, 18s are working extremely well through cactus and rocks and all that we've done here. Um, we've got aluminum skids and steel skids and uh, steel uh, rock rails on the side by All Pro. Uh, thanks, John. Uh, this is great stuff and it's panning out well. And moving up a little bit, we've got the Baja rack. Uh, Sergio Murillo, our good friend there, uh, makes these racks and they've just done a superb job for us, uh, both on the Tacoma and on our Forerunner at home. We're running rigid lights. Uh, Alu boxes that you can get a glimpse of there are lightweight, strong, super durable boxes and uh, they've really really been wonderful on this trip for best utilization of space and weight. Uh, that's a home built uh, rack on the top. I misplaced my Baja rack uh, gasoline rack, but uh, that one's working. You can see our propane tank up there also. And uh, then on down to the back, we've got our uh, Easy On tent and our uh, high lift jack here uh, in the five foot version that we have had to use already. We uh, helped some uh, Mexicans who were broken down on one of the really remote trails to uh, get the front end back underneath their truck after a ball joint broke. Our Max tracks, of course, back here in the back. And then uh, you can uh, kind of see inside, we've got our Eagle fridge. We have our uh, homemade water system, so we've got about 50 PSI of pressurized water with 30 gallons behind that. And then our air, which is supplied to 140, 145 PSI there by our Extreme Air Magnum air compressor mounted inside in a three gallon tank underneath. Uh, our Easy On awning out here pulls out. We've got a rugged radio. Uh, you can see the antenna mount up there. We've got a, a little Cobra. Um, remote uh, mounted CB and the antenna for that is on the left rear also and anyway that's kind of kind of what we've got that's the the girl what brung us the rig what brung us and uh, we're having a good time down here in Baja hope you all get to do a trip like this on your own